They were going to do a video on how to bath your puppy. The age that they should first need a bath is probably around about 8 to 10 weeks of age. There's debate on how often you should bath your puppy. It's entirely up to you when you want to do it. Maybe once a week, once every couple of weeks, but really when they're dirty. Um, the shampoo is meant for puppies so it won't be too harsh and it shouldn't strip the oils from the coat. So before you start you need to get everything ready that you're going to need so you don't have to leave your puppy unattended. So you can either do it in the bath or a basin, um, sometimes the sink depending on the size of your puppy. Get yourself some nice mild puppy shampoo, some nice fluffy towels, uh, a soft brush and some treats. Make sure the puppy's happy in the bath. We want to make this a really positive experience, so make sure they've had plenty of treats so they're not going to be scared of this experience because it's quite important for hygiene reasons that they are kept clean. First of all, you need to brush your puppy. If they've got any knots in their coat, when you bath them, this can make the coat knottier. So you need to gently groom them, make sure there's no tangles in there before you give them their bath. Switch on the water and test it first on your wrist. You want to make sure it's not too hot and not too cold. So a nice lukewarm temperature. Then you can gently wet the puppy all over. I try and avoid the head and the eye area. If any goes in their ears or eyes, they're not gonna appreciate it very much. So generally I don't wash the head area unless they're really dirty. Puppy shampoo into your hand and gently lather up the puppy. Be careful that you don't use too much shampoo, but as long as it's all rinsed out afterwards, it won't be a problem. So give them a nice little massage, make sure they're washed all over, pay particular attention to their back end. You can also do their feet as well. And as I say, I tend not to do the head area. Make sure the shampoo's well rubbed in and the coat is all lathered up nicely. So the whole bathing process should take no longer than about five minutes from start to finish. Otherwise your puppy will get bored and they'll also start to get cold. Once the puppy's all shampooed up, switch the water on again and make sure you test it again on your wrist to make sure it's the right temperature. And then start rinsing off all the shampoo. This is the really important part. If you leave any shampoo in the coat, it can irritate the dog afterwards and give them itchy or scurfy skin. So we need to make sure that all of the shampoo is washed out and the water is running clear. So once the puppy's all rinsed off, you could squeeze out any excess water if you've got a very long haired puppy. Otherwise, get yourself your nice fluffy towel and start drying them off. You want to make sure that they're kept nice and wrapped up and warm. Puppies can't regulate their own temperature very well, so we don't want them to get cold. So we need to keep them covered up, warm and get them dry as soon as possible. As this puppy is slightly longer haired, we're going to just use a hairdryer on a cool setting and a lower speed. He has had it done before, so he is used to it and he didn't mind too much but obviously um, some puppies may be scared of this experience so get them used to the noise first gradually and give them plenty of treats make sure you don't hold the hair dryer too close to them otherwise you could burn the skin the puppy doesn't have to be completely dry but as long as the majority of the coat is dry they shouldn't get too cold just obviously make sure you keep them indoors afterwards until they're fully dry make sure they've had plenty of treats so they've enjoyed their first bathing experience.